Hello, this is Ali Rush again. Let me ask you something. Do you mind if I say bless you? Bless each and every one of you? Alrighty, well, I got something very, I think it's important that I want to discuss with you. And I think it is something that is always on our mind with the predicament that we're in now. Because of this virus, we're always thinking about this one thing. And I say this, with a virus going around and any one of us susceptible to catching it, what is the one thing we always think about? You know what that is? Death. If I catch it, you say, I will surely die. Well, that is proven not necessarily to be the case. But we have thoughts that are running around in our head that says a virus is coming. A virus is coming. Not riding a horse like Paul Revere, but nevertheless, a virus is here. I'm not warning you about a British attack, but this one is dangerous and it's on the attack. Not with rifles, guns, or knives, but just the same, it can take our lives. Death, I say, thanatobia. It's sure to kill us. Fear of death or the dying process. The older we get, the more we think of death. We should just learn to live one day at a time. You are not the only ones that should worry about death. People are dying these days, young and old. Age has no set bearing on death. Destiny is there for all of mankind, young and old. But to worry about it is nonsense. Just live life one day at a time. Enjoy in some way each day as it comes. This virus has made us feel alienated, isolated, and misunderstood. And we are more likely to have thoughts of death. Some people are constantly strapped with fear, but just as fear walked into our lives, we can walk away from fear also. How, you may ask? Don't give it mind space. Throw it out of your mind. Believe it's just a fleeting experience. Why are you fearing death? It's not death that hurts. It's what happened to you to cause you to die. You know, Jesus took the sting out of death when he died on the cross. Now you listen to me. At death, all you are doing is stepping out of mortality, which is this mortal body, and stop stepping into immortality, which is the spiritual aspect of the part of you that continues to live. But wait a minute, wait just a minute. Would you just wait one minute? Here are three keys to help your body take aim at this deadly disease. We're getting back to coronavirus here again. If you take vitamin C and echinacea, which makes vitamin C work stronger and better, and D, vitamin D, you can build up resistance and that you can believe. Vitamin C is involved in many body functions, formations of collagen and, and the immune system. I know it would do a world of good if you can just bring yourself to try it. Now, I'm not a doctor or even a nutritionist, but if I were you, 
I wouldn't miss an opportunity like this. Echinacea is used as a dietary supplement for the common cold and other infections. Based on the idea it might stimulate the immune system to make more effectively uh, to more effectively fight infection. If we are more if we are going to defeat coronavirus, we need all the help we can get. The stronger the immune system, the better able it is to fight coronavirus. Echinacea taken with vitamin C gives it more of a potent punch. Vitamin D helps keep your immune system in top shape. These three twins of immunity, fitness pack one powerful punch. These three twins of immunity, fitness, pack one powerful punch. Who knows? They may be all we need to fight off this terrible sickness. When people join hand in battle regardless of foe, victory will come. Love and kindness joined hand in hand cannot be separated. These three soldiers of immune warfare, let's bind them together to defeat the infection of coronavirus. It will definitely make us stronger for it. And forget about death. Live life one day at a time. And don't let this devilish virus take control of your life. Once again, I say, bless you.